Throughout history, what people wear at protests has been almost as important as what they say. And now a local clothing company is leaving their mark on the tragic story of Patrick Leoya. Doug Reardon met the men who are about to etch their designs and Patrick's face in history. Doug. Yeah, good evening to you both. Reg James has been making t-shirts and hoodies for black victims of violence since Trayvon Martin. In fact, some of his designs have been featured and archived by a few museums, and it's about to happen again, this time for his work on Patrick Leoya. Would you happen to have an XL hoodie that I It's not exactly the calling that Reg James drove for. And it's, it's a really sad thing because we got countless lives. And when he started his business, Reg James Clothing, back in 2020, he didn't think he'd be doing this. It's not really about this gear. It's about getting justice for Patrick. So getting justice for Patrick, we're going to get justice. The T-shirts and hoodies that have been relentless sightings at each rally and march for Patrick Leoya have come from Reg's studio. Two eggs and then a media partnering with one of Patrick's best friends Jimmy Barwan the duo have turned out t-shirts and hoodies by the hundreds keeping Patrick's name and face alive and visible but again it's not the call the two thought they would have to answer how many more t-shirts do we got to make we don't want to do that right you this know? is something I don't want to do you know I don't want to do this now I mean, there's enough to kind of do a whole exhibit around unfortunately throughout history clothing has been used as a marker of protest as a sign of the times George Baird with the Grand Rapids African American Museum and Archives located just a block away from the Grand Rapids Police Department on Brianna Taylor Way has been collecting protest artifacts for years the shirts are the same we, we collect them because of that too because it marks a certain time in history and so for us um, it's a it's a great way to honor uh, people when people come in here to look back at this incident mm -hmm. you know what what information is going to happen That's what are you going to see the african-american museum is now in the process of selling and archiving reggie's clothing for their collection the gr public museum is doing the same thing and they've already displayed and archived a few of reggie's other designs including one he made in the wake of gr native brianna taylor's killing those designs will now become a permanent part of both museums' collections, and requests for the Leoya t-shirts have come from every corner of the world. I've been having a lot of requests from Congo DRC, a lot of requests from Kenya, a lot of requests from South Africa, France. A portion of the proceeds from sales are going directly to the Leoya family. Reg and Jimmy are grateful for the interest and the support, and the chance to be a part of Leoya's story now and for history. They just hope the face they knew well will be the last one they have to put on a t-shirt. This can get the word out by putting them on hoodies and spreading the word on t-shirts. Then that's what I'm going to continue yeah. to do. Me wearing this, it's not only for Patrick, but it's for all of us. Because at the end of the day, this is about a human being. Yeah. And, and this could have happened to any one of us. Yeah, and if you want those t-shirts, they go on sale today at the African American Museum at 87 Monroe Center or at the Business Exchange on 28th Street. Josh. Thank you.